guys, welcome back to another video. Brody Bunch is on the boat today. We've been trying to get on the boat since we got back. So we've been back for, how long have we been back? Two months we've been back from our RV trip. And uh, kids have been in school, so we've been sort of laying low on making videos and whatnot. But we are back in the swing of things. Now Kendall's not with us today. She is at a little church trip this weekend. So it's myself, Cameron, Brandy, Hannah, and then we've got some friends with us. We've got Emmy, and we've got Suzanne back here, hi probably hiding from the camera. Anyways, we're having some fun on the boat today. You can see how much trouble we can get into. We're going in the fluff mud. Yeah. I've been living like the summer day, sunny weather never rains. Going out every night, meet another girl, another name. Running my city, they know when it's me. Doing a show, they be coming to see. Making a bread and I'm packing it up and I'm walking up over no drinks are free. No, no one ever Alright, this is probably one of the greatest places on earth, in my opinion. If you were to ask me, if I were to ask you guys, would you say the May River in Bluffton is like one of the greatest places on earth? I mean, come on. Yeah. There's a lot of cool places out there, but this, this is the best, for sure. And there isn't just like one particular thing that makes the May River a special place. It's just, it's everything and it's collective that makes the May River in Bluffton like a very special place. So uh, our plan today is to hand, head over to the sandbar. We're pretty close to, to being there. We got a nice low tide afternoon. So um, we'll be able to play on the sand and in the in the water there the baby will have a, a good time doing that and brandy will probably freak out and not want me to run over all the people in the water nothing i got this I got, we're totally good i got it i just had to snatch the drone out of the air from some of those shots you just saw <laughs> i had to snatch it to grab it because all the sensors it won't let you fly over the boat and it freaks out so apparently i caught one of the propellers and i'm bleeding i need to wipe this finger off first I'm getting blood everywhere. So like the tiniest little know. cut. All right, ready? Right it's right there. See it? Quick. Okay. No, no, no. That's it. That was just one little nick. I don't know how it happened. Let's put the first aid kit away. Wait, but it's a little blood. We have arrived. Greatest place on earth. All right, I'm gonna drop the anchor here-ish, and then we're gonna back in, because it's easier and more fun for the kids to go to jump off the back of the boat. And it's easier to get on and off no, that I'm way. What's up, Cam Cam? You ready to have a little fun? Yeah. What about me? I'm ready to have fun too. Who are you? Oh, how rude. <laughs> I'm going to throw one in the back too. Me, I'll get it out for you. Thank you. Everyone's so friendly. Like instead of me having to jump out and deal with the anchor, this guy was in the water. He's like, yo, give me your anchor. I'll, I'll hook you up. Which makes it so much easier that way. See, I could have been this guy over here who's swimming. He's having to swim his anchor to the shore to deal with it. I'm thankful to not have to have done that. It's the first week of fall, and we finally made it to the sandbar. <laughs> it's the most beautiful day of the year, though. Look at this kid. Look at her. Where are you going? Where are you trying to go? Huh? There's no way the water temperature is cold. Oh, it's like knee deep. You guys are a bunch of Freddy cats. All right, let's see what's up with this water temp. Oh, it's okay. It's not bad. Now, I gotta be careful because the tide here is an extreme tide change. Even from when we got here, that anchor was right at the water line. You can see it's already probably six feet down from there. So the water's gonna drop quickly, which means this boat will be sitting on the ground in probably the next 30 minutes. So I'm gonna have to push it out a few more feet to prevent that from happening. Look at these girls playing in this pluff mud. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, come here, babe, come here! 
Come here. I was the first one to go in. Oh. I got to fall. No, I'm really. <laughs> Ow. This is pluff mud. This is like, it's marsh mud, basically. And the kids love to come over here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh God. daddy, daddy. <laughs> no way. It's and it's very slippery but there's a cliff over here at low tide there's a nice jump and uh they like to oh god jump into the water i'm definitely falling and busting my butt i gotta hold on to the marsh to the weeds oh my gosh i'm not trying to get completely muddy If you guys are interested in what our boat is, for anybody who might care, it's a 2017 Sea Ray 270 SDX. There are a lot of things to love about this boat. Big open deck floor plan. It's got a small bathroom in it. It's got a Mercury 350, which is a supercharged inline six. Love that motor. Um, it's been really good to us. The big swim platform on the back, the rear deck uh, padded seat area all that there's a lot of really cool things about it um if you want to see more of a like tour video of it let me know and we'll come back down to the marina and we'll we'll shoot something if you want to see more specifics but for anybody who might be interested that's what our boat is it's getting super shallow here we're gonna have to move the boat out oh my goodness look at these muddy girls hey. yeah you did yeah. it's getting shallow get a shot of us sure okay. a few minutes though all right, now I gotta go pull the front anchor out. I can't take you guys to do that because you'll get wet. You guys don't wanna get wet. Everyone's complaining about how cold the water is. I'll leave you on the boat. I'll go move the front anchor. And then we'll hang out here a little longer. Oh yeah, I got the baby. Great experience, a little pluff mud, a little May River. Oh yeah, it's like a bathtub, but better. What do you think? Feels amazing, right? Is that mommy? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, you ready to walk? <gasps> oh yeah. Let's take some steps. Oh yes, girlfriend. We're doing it. There you go. Come here. Say hi, mommy. Say hi. <laughs> She doesn't want to touch the sand. <laughs> About that time to pull some anchors up and get on down the, I said get on down the road, probably more like get on down the river, you know what I'm saying? saw a dolphin which we see a dolphin all the time on the boat and it just never gets old so we're gonna see if I can get a little closer show you guys this cool dolphin sometimes they like swim up to the boat and they're like cool and more interactive and other times they're like yeah pound sand get out of here bro so oh there's a couple of them swimming together all right here you go there they are oh here we go here we go Three of them right there. Okay, that was your dolphin sightings for the day. No additional charge. I am the tour guide. Are you kidding me? Listen, they got these guys. They they just got a free dolphin tour. I love seeing dolphins. You know what I'm saying? It never gets old. 
We've lived here our whole lives. It never gets it cold. Never gets cold. Alligators are the same way. Always cool. Every time. Here's a pro tip for you. If you're fishing, if you look at the pelicans and the birds and where they're, uh, you know, going for fish, if you're trying to get some like bait fish or something, figure out where the birds are. That's where the fish are. They can see. Oh, it's behind us. Hold on, let's turn around. They're all fighting for the same fish. Ooh. <laughs> Would you, wouldn't it be awesome to see a pelican and a dolphin like going at it? See, that's where the fish are. Oh, there's where the dolphin is. Told you. All right, we got to keep moving. There's dolphin all over the place. There's clearly, there's like three of them right there. Um, there's clearly a lot of fish here. You see all the birds, the pelicans, the dolphin, lots of good, probably small fish, little bait fish. Throw a cast net out there scoop up a bunch of them and then go catch some tarpon or something somewhere. I love it here. This is awesome. It really doesn't get any better. Who knew this was going to be like a wildlife tour? That's a sick boat. What is that? That thing's cool. So you guys have t heard us talk about uh, Brandy living on a sailboat as a kid, kind of a teenager spending time in the Virgin Islands on a sailboat that her dad built. It's pretty cool. It's like sailboats are like the RV of the water, I feel like. That's how I think about them in my mind. I'd love to do a sailboat. Yeah. She said it's a similar way of life. You guys probably maybe didn't hear that. I would love to do sailboats. It's a huge learning curve. Like you got to really know some stuff. And you think about, like, I used to think about sailboats as a kid as such a, like, boring, old person thing to do, right? Mm -hmm. And then as you grow up, you're like, man, that'd be so cool to actually know how to do that. And then it's, like, sort of like this self-sustained thing. I would love it. It'd be a super rad to know how to manipulate the sails to get to where you want to be and not rely on gasoline and that sort of stuff. I'm obsessed with that. Such a pro, you got it. First thing I do when I get back, always hook up the hose to the motor and flush that thing out. We have an extremely harsh, corrosive salt water here. Uh, probably one of the more harsh salt water environments in the country, if I had to guess. Thing all cleaned up. We didn't actually get rid of the RV either, by the way. I didn't actually trade it for the boat. We've had the boat. We still got the RV. In fact, we are taking another trip here in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're headed to another little location, a little destination. Might actually be camping in the Land Cruiser. I'm also taking the Land Cruiser on a four or five day trip and gonna be living out of that um, to Overland Expo East in Virginia. Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun. I'll put a link to my other channel here, my personal Beef Brody channel, if you guys want to follow along on any of the truck stuff, overland type camping, truck builds, uh, that sort of thing. I'll put a link up here or down in the description below. Otherwise, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh, a bit of a different adventure for this channel from what you guys have seen so far, some, uh, some boat time. So. Anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. See you guys in the next video. Peace.